We've talked a great deal about the delicate balance of ecosystems and how the alteration of even one part of a chemical cycle or one part of a food web can cause a huge domino effect. Introducing a new species is no exception, and when a non-native species is brought to a new area, there can be serious consequences. In the most extreme cases, new species can even become invasive, and that means they slowly start taking over by out-competing the native species and threatening native species extinction. There are two famous examples of new species introduction, um, the killer bee and the zebra mussel, that show the detrimental effects of new species introduction. So the first one is the killer bee. And in 1956, African honeybees were brought to Brazil to see if they could breed a new variety of bee that could produce more honey. and these African honeybees were um, particularly aggressive, but it was okay because they were supposed to be contained in the lab where they were trying to breed this new bee. But the honeybees accidentally escaped, and they ended up being very dangerous and spreading throughout the Americas. And by 2000, they'd already killed 10 people in the U.S. Um, from their killer bee, quote-unquote killer bee sting. The zebra mussel is an example of an invasive species and these were discovered in um, a lake in Detroit in 1988 when they were found to have clogged up the water pipes that carry water into the city although their exact origins aren't certain scientists speculate that they were carried over on the underside of some type of ship and because the zebra mussel has no local predator its population exploded and went wild and has multiplied to grand proportion and caused millions of dollars of damage. And the zebra mussel also threatens to outcompete the native species. So, as you can see, introducing a new species from one area to another can throw off the balance of an ecosystem and cause um, unnecessary harm.